to talk here with Eyal Herzog from uh, Bancorp, who gave a presentation here, and not at Bitcoin Wednesday in Amsterdam, but here in London, about how he went through this crazy, you know, initial coin offering. Uh, you say that uh, Bitcoin Wednesday was an instrumental for you uh, oh, yeah. to, to launch it. How did that work? Eh? Yeah, we, we did uh, many of our presentations there. We videotaped them and uh, it's on our website. Uh, we did some tours within uh, Holland. It was a lot of fun. And uh, we, we, we also brought Bernard Liatar to Bitcoin yeah. Wednesday to talk. Yeah, I interviewed him last week. Mm -hmm. he's, a cra he's the guy who basically came up with the EQ, the, the Euro system, and when he was at the bank. And he's completely crazy about bankers. He's so enthusiastic. And he's now on your foundation as the yes. chief monetary officer or something? Yes, yes. Great move. Yes, he joined the foundation. I mean, Bernard Leata was my inspiration when I just went into user-generated currency and community currencies back in 2012. And he was a big inspiration. If you go to YouTube, you'll see like millions of videos of him talking. He's probably the most important academic figure in that field. And when he called me one day and said that he read the Bank of White paper Three oh, times. you you didn't send it to him. No, it was his own friend, idea. A friend sent it to him, uh -huh. and that friend then connected us. And uh, he told me he read it three times because he couldn't believe it because he thought it's too good to be true. Yeah, that's and what he I, told me too. That's yeah. probably the best compliment I ever got from anyone on this planet <laughs> in in my history. <laughs> Yeah, and it's interesting. And you've done a lot of things because I know you because you had uh, you had a video play sharing platform which was for a while bigger than YouTube. And your partner had a gaming uh, platform where he was uh, experimenting with money, yeah. you know, in in game money, right? Yeah. I mean, so this whole idea about having uh, all the cryptocurrencies, you know, to to basically g provide a level of uh, liquidity. How did that come about? Oh, so uh, it came about because we were uh, researching just for fun, maybe we're crazy, but how the banking system works. Like, I mean, I was in video, so it's alternative media. So it's like uh, I was consumer of that kind of stuff. And then after I, I realized that how it works, which is kind of crazy. I mean, uh, it's, it's hard to believe that it works the way it works. Then, uh, then all of a sudden I saw one day um, like a podcast that was discussing Bitcoin. That was 2011. So the moment I saw that, I saw like the, the first user... It was seven cents. <laughs> no, no, no. It was seven no, cents no, a Bitcoin. It was, yeah. it was, it was eight dollars oh, and it was going to 30 and then crashed to two dollars. Oh, yeah. So we had the first bu bubble in uh, 2011. And I was part of that bubble and I was part of that crash. And I was like, oh my God, you know, <laughs> I lost money. And <laughs> I mean, it, it, it did well after that. But yeah. the thing is that uh, I saw the first user-generated currency that was liquid, and I, was, I, I found it amazing. And, and I thought, how can we let more people do more user-generated currency? So we build like a platform that enabled that. But the problem was that those small-scale currencies were not liquid, liquid to each other. Yeah. And we're like pounding our head. And, and all, over the long term, that, that became like a bad thing that are not liquid because their value kind of diverged from the original. So when, when Ethereum started to gain ground, we, we, we had a feeling that this might be a beginning of a solution to the liquidity problem because you can do smart contracts and interesting things. And as we were exploring it, you know, that what made the Banco protocol. It was not like, I have an idea, let's do it. It was like, mm, there's something there, let's go explore it, explore it, explore it. And, and as we did, we, we kind of built the concept of Banco. Okay. So now... You got your money, you, know, you got a huge amount of money, and it's really difficult to decide how much, uh, you know, you, dis you described here in your talk how difficult it was to organize a process where everybody could buy part of the currency. I mean, people accused you from being greedy. Were you greedy when you basically organized this process and you left it open for a while? <sighs> so, yeah, I mean, <laughs> I mean... Uh, I wasn't greedy, but I did want to let anyone that wanted to participate to do so. I, I mean, people were like, reading our white paper, following the talks, watching the Bitcoin Wednesday videos, and they liked it and they wanted to, to participate. They yeah. wanted to contribute. And, you know, being in the same situation as basic attention token, well, like 99.99% of the people that wanted to participate couldn't, that was not something we want to... So, so we said, you know what, call us greedy or whatever. But then when they actually call us greedy, then we came up with a solution of the price floor which means that everything above a specific amount will go for two years to a smart contract that will buy back the tokens in the initial price. So it's not us, 
It's the investors' money. It protects yeah. their investment. For two years, your uh, your stuff is invested, and you opened it up, and so you're ending up with that big amount of money. How are you going to spend mm -hmm. that money? Let's talk about that. So that you that was a nice, smart way to do it. And uh, how are you going now to spend the, the, the 185 million, which you uh, no, no, no. no, how so much? Well, 150. The 150. 20 percent went to the reserve. Yep. So it's like 120 permanently. 40 yep. 40 percent went to the price floor. Yep. So it's 80, yep. and those 80 already worth 60, or even yep. more like 50. Yep. So you know it's not like. Uh, no. So how are you going to? What are you? How are you going to spend these deep three different uh, things? So what what we are planning on is uh, first of all uh, um, a lot of development effort, not just uh, by, by by our group, but by many other groups. Because again, we're trying to create an ecosystem around yeah. the. This is the charter of the foundation to create an ecosystem around the Bancor protocol and the Bancor token, which is kind of the first smart token that will be used as a reserve token. So we're going to fund other development effort, other platform, and we're going to support uh, uh, new tokens that are using the protocol. We're going to participate in their funding. So, you know, we have a lot of ideas. I'm not sure if enough money for all of that, but we have a lot of ideas because when you try to kickstart an ecosystem, it's not a simple thing. I mean, you really need to shoot in several directions. Okay. Thanks for sharing, and I'll see you in Amsterdam next year, June, at the uh, Blockchain Innovation Conference. Are you coming? Sounds like a, a great opportunity. <laughs> You'll be there. Okay, okay. thank you. <laughs>